Tonight, city council members in National City are considering a plan to add more bike lanes to the streets and roads there. CBS 8's Brian White is live at City Hall, where the council meeting is just getting underway right now. Brian? Yes, the city council is moments away from discussing their new bicycle plan update, which would add four miles of new bike lanes in addition to many more miles of other types of bikeways. Now, I've got my bicycle helmet here because I took to the roadways earlier to test out some of these bike lanes here in National City. Oh, for me, it's like, it's more for exercise, for, for the old, for senior people, that they can have a, to ride for a safe road for bikers. That's really good. I ran into Bert Kiliego on 24th and Highland as he was out for a bike ride. He thinks adding more bike lanes is a good idea and makes getting around town easier and safer for cyclists like him. Really good. If you can begin to put around San Diego County with the bike lanes, that's fine. It's good. The new bicycle master plan is looking to expand and improve National City's existing bikeway network by filling in gaps and making the area more bikeable altogether. Basically this whole commuting idea and everything tied together. And that's really nice and good, particularly if you're dealing like with an Otay Ranch, which is like you know, a big sandbox that you just kind of get to play Sim, Sim City with. If you're talking about an older community like ours, uh, that's that's a world of difference. Ron Morrison is mayor of National City. He thinks some bike lanes are necessary, but he doesn't think the roadways here need to be saturated with too many of them. The question is, how many of these do we really need, and do they need to be out on every street? No. Do we need a couple of north-south? Do we need a couple of uh, east-west? Okay, let's do that. National City already has more than 12 miles of Class 2 bike lanes. I hopped on my bicycle to test them out. I'm here on East 18th Street where they currently have bike lanes. Now there's no protective barrier separating me from traffic, but it's still a whole lot safer than here on 24th Street, which has no bike lanes at all. Something this new plan is trying to change. The solid lines on this map show existing bikeways. The dotted lines represent where city staff wants to add more. I think we need to have some for those who want to use bikes and want to use it to get to certain areas. If you want to make sure you got like a east-west to get over to Harbor Drive and that takes you down to downtown, those type of things. But we don't need one on every arterial on every street. And uh, that's what's going to have to be looked at tonight. City staff will be presenting the bicycle master plan for discussion only. There's no vote tonight, but they may bring the item back to council in the near future for an actual vote. Brian, how does the city plan to pay for these proposed bike lanes? They say it would be a mix of regional, state, and federal funding. But one thing this bicycle master plan update does is it makes National City eligible for certain grant opportunities that could help to fund some of these bike lanes. Balancing the need for those bike lanes, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and also making sure that the people who are driving, the storefronts, are also getting their say. It's a balancing act, and we'll continue to follow the story. Thanks so much, Brian.